All right, greetings YouTube. Just an update on the powder coating oven build here. Uh, just got back from vacation and got to work. So uh, first boxed in both sides of the uh, floor frame uh, so that the floor would have something to rivet into along there. Uh, so I framed that all in and then uh, cut these uh, 16 gauge steel uh, panels for the floor top and bottom um, and then welded these angles on uh, to the floor for rails so there's gonna be a big cart that uh, that I can you know string things up on in the powder coating booth and then uh, just roll it out and roll it off of the the stand into the uh, into the oven so I don't have to touch anything in between so uh, that's the plan anyway. So I got the, the rails welded on. Uh, did some more framing to the walls. Um, got the, uh, uh, the hole framed in there for the one of the heating elements and then two on the back here with some supports, some vertical supports in there. Added those in. Um, you can see I just added a little support bracket there to to frame that across on the the side that didn't have the uh, that wasn't open and you can see I just started bending these this lip out where I need to frame that in I was I was cutting these and bending it out and then I got lazy um, but that seems to work I'm sure there are people that work with this stuff all the time they're gonna tell me that's not how you do that but uh, that's how I'm doing it. So don't take this as the uh, authoritative word on how to work with steel studs because I don't claim to know what I'm doing. So anyway, uh, out here we've got the uh, the third wall, the other side. I framed in the uh, for the heating element there, and then I've got I used uh, race to frame in this ductwork. So the fan in the ceiling is going to uh, be ducted into this ductwork here. And um, so that's what I have over here is the, the frame for the ceiling as it is now. Uh, there's a 90 degree uh, piece of ductwork there that's gonna fit in there. And so I'm just getting ready to fit those together and then I gotta cut out the top of this so that uh, so that those two pieces of ductwork can mate up and then I'm going to be ready to start actually riveting the walls into place and uh, I've got to finish building the ceiling here but uh, you saw in the last video where I cut out the uh, the holes for the lights and the fan that are going to get framed into to that piece okay so I'm framing in uh the ceiling here in the duct. I've got the fan, the blower motor uh, and squirrel cage fan mo mounted on the ceiling there and I just put in a few members here to uh, get the uh, air into the the 90 degree bend in the ductwork there and you can see it's attached to the, the side wall there and that duct and that duct runs uh, down the, the right wall. So I just thought you might like to see how that's framed in there. I've got uh, a piece of uh, ductwork back doubling up on the ceiling metal there and then I just use these studs for the the sides and then I've got another piece of so I've got this piece of ductwork cut out to uh, cover that up so I'll just rivet that in place there um, I've been using the red RTV gasket sealer for the ductwork so I'll just uh, Smear some of that on here and rivet this into place. And uh, then the next thing will be to put the lights on there and uh, on that, that cross member. And then get this wall and uh, and the roof made it up with the, the other two walls and the floor there. I'm kind of going in a strange order here, but uh, I think it's going to work out. So another thing I want to demo is... Uh, these guys, some of you probably know what these are, but uh, some of you may not. 
They're called Clecos, and if you're going to be doing much riveting, they're a worthwhile investment. So you can drill the hole and then stick these through to clamp it in place while you drill the rest of the holes. Um, this is the first time I've used them for this project, so it's probably not worth getting uh, just for this project. But uh, like I said, if you're going to be doing it, uh, if you're going to be using your fancy new riveter much, uh, might be worth the investment. I'm doing it here because I wanted to drill all the holes and get it uh, lined up and in place uh, before I squeeze out the gasket for the perimeter of this top piece of the ductwork here. So I just wanted to get all those holes done. Um, so this keeps it all lined up while you drill the rest of the holes. Uh, so now I'm going to pull this off, put on some sealer, and then uh, rivet this all into place, and then that duct will be complete. So it squeezes it out like that, which lets it go through the hole, and then it fattens up as it springs out. So pretty clever little doodads. Okay, so I got the duct completed and all gooed up there, and uh, Got the two light boxes installed. You see it's fans recessed there and the lights are inset. So I think that's going to work out. So again, I'm Adam with Adam's Vent Metal. And uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave those and uh, encourage you to like your comment, subscribe. So uh, talk to you soon.